It starts on Saturday and it okay. ends on Friday. I will tell you what I mean by eight. Seven days is total of creation. And then Allah, he went up to heaven to rest, right? Yeah. Okay. But isn't it the Quran? Keep saying that Allah created the earth and the heaven in six days. Yeah. Okay. But here we have seven days. He started working in the earth in Saturday. He finished full day. And this is afternoon and the night, which means it is the day number eight. Because in Islam, the same as in Judaism, the day is over by the sunset. This is a new day, correct? Yeah. 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 So seven days and broke, which means enter into the, the, the number the number the eight. But isn't it the Quran keeps saying Allah created the earth and the heaven in six days? Yeah. Okay. So how Muhammad is a prophet, but yet he is adding days as he wish. I have no idea. I'll check it out later. No, I have an idea. I have an idea, my friend. I have an idea. He's a fraud. He's a liar. A person, he's a prophet. He will not make such a mistake because he is inspired by God. You see, if I am speaking of my own, I can make mistakes. If I am speaking in the name of God, for God, by God, then mistakes cannot happen. So, when the Quran says Allah created the earth and the heaven in six days and repeated in many verses in the Quran, and then he set himself upon the throne. And the Hadith says there are seven because the last day afternoon Allah created Adam. Friday after afternoon. Yeah. How come neither the Muslim, neither Muhammad noticed that this is not six days? I have no idea. I have no idea. Because simply who dare to question Muhammad? I'm sure there's many they 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 notice. But who dare to open his mouth? He will be dead in two seconds. He's a terrorist. So after I show you all of this, still you think really the Quran is a book from God and Muhammad is a prophet? It's hard for me to say no. Like I I, I know what you're saying. I will look at at it later but it's up to you you know you, you see yeah. i don't see i don't see uh, i don't want to be rude with you but mm. you are saying to me you will look but we were not looking now what we were doing yeah we were we were now i mean just to see another perspective i mean what perspective do you have a, do you have two brains no i don't mean that like but like from my understanding at least like i've read some parts of the bible that just just to compare it and what i know my friend is that the quran is nothing to do with the bible and have nothing to do with the bible this is not a spiritual book as you see this is one two three four you know allah created this and then and this this is not like a metaphorical and uh, maybe he meant something maybe he's no it is says it clearly and after that and before that so it is about the stages and the stages are absolutely contradiction and the quran said it clearly if this is a book made by other than Allah, you will find in it a lot of contradiction. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Okay. That's true. So if Allah himself, Aka Muhammad, said to you that this book, the way to know if it is from God or not, is contradiction. Then, well, the contradiction is so clear. The whole Quran is contradiction. You want to be stubborn with yourself, you know, and uh, like deny the fact we showed you? No, I don't deny it. But the only thing is I just want to, like, I cannot imagine that uh, this is the only perspective on it. Like, otherwise, other My people friend, would have already... You can, you can bring like all perspective because uh, mm -hmm. changing perspective will not change what we showed you. This is Quran. And this is the words in the front of you. So how anyone will try to make a different perspective? Okay, I will give you, uh, uh, I, I have an offer for you. Do you know any sheikh? He can join us right now? No, I have no idea. No. Why you don't know any sheikh? You're you a Muslim. I was raised in a secular Muslim household. All but right. It's not that, I'm not that active that I have frequent uh, conversation. Oh, but with I don't know where you live. I'm not going to ask you where. Can you call any sheikh you wish right now? over the phone and tell him, hey, you can call him in private like nobody is hearing you. Can, yeah. Call him and say, hey, can you join me, please? This guy trying to convert, to, to, to make me leave Islam. Can you come and refute him, please? 
I, I don't know any like real sheikhs like uh, face. You do face. not need like, to know anyone. Go check like the it. internet. Who is who is a sheikh? You can call him for free. And tell him I'm a Muslim. This is my story. Can you please join us? You do not need to know him. He's not a doctor. He will charge you for, you know, consultation. Actually, Muhammad, he does. He charges for consultation? Oh, yeah. Muhammad, he will not even speak to you in private unless you pay him. Uh, do you have hadith? Not hadith. We have Quran. Uh, can you show me where he does say that? Okay. 